Oh, this four day trip is four days too long. Whew. Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. My name is Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. So I am, is that my Uber? No. I am on my way to work, obviously. I'm gonna start a four day trip. I haven't done a four day in a while, so I'm bringing y'all along. This should be fun. And I'm getting to work with my friend, Kamira. We did um, first class training together and she's, she's full of energy, full of excitement. So I'm excited for this trip. Anyways, y'all, let me find my, my Uber. I'm taking an Uber today because I wanted to get to work early, but I woke up too late to get on the shuttle to get to work early, so, and the other shuttle isn't gonna get me there in enough time. So, yeah, here we go. Oh, and FYI, I know like, what, two vlogs ago, I was telling y'all how my face had dried out and all this stuff. It's been like two, and like two weeks, cause that was, that was Easter Sunday on the 1st, today is the 14th, so yeah been two weeks I haven't really worn makeup I wore makeup one day to graduation and the rest of the time I've just been barefaced um, I bought some really good face products my face feels so good so I might just put on some makeup today I'm excited I miss wearing makeup I miss it <laughs> all right heading to the gate no time to get Jamba Juice this morning but I did put on a little makeup and I warmed up some breakfast so it should be a fun four day. There's my F4 right there behind me or my F3. Can't remember which one. She was on reserve and they called her for this trip. So here we go. Guys, we just landed. Say hi. Camera. Hi. <laughs> so silly. We're just um, waiting on the hotel shuttle. So yeah. Waiting. Y'all know how I feel about waiting. It's like whenever we have these smaller hotels that have the shuttles that take you to and from the airport, we have these those instead of like a a, um, a rental van or truck or whatever that they use transportation that they actually rent out and comes and picks us up on time. No, we got to sit here and wait. So we'll wait. Oh, it feels like a new day. I just took, I know I always say that I take the best naps, but that nap right there, <laughs> child, I could have been just dead till tomorrow if my phone didn't ring. But last night I didn't sleep very well because I had a nightmare <laughs> about snakes. And I didn't even tell y'all, but the other day, Fawn and I were at the apartment in New York and we found a snake in our house. <laughs> long story short our roommate one that's been living there before us has had a five foot long boa constrictor some type of snake living in that apartment and didn't tell nobody Fawn heard noises coming from the room I go in the room and there the snake is chilling by the windowsill it was a scene y'all it was it was a scene to be seen <laughs> I'll probably go ahead and insert a clip of the foolery that happened that day but we called 911 we called everybody because we wanted the snake dead because we didn't know who snake it was we didn't know why i was in her room chilling trying to eat us like just a hot mess basically <laughs> but anyways i'm about to go meet my crew um at the pool i still did not bring any swimwear with me because it has been cold everywhere we've been going and now it feels like spring has finally sprung so i'm just gonna go over there and chill with them in my workout clothes i was gonna go to runyon runyon canyon i'm in la but i'm at a different hotel and it's like an hour and a half away from here so i'm not doing that so i'll just go hang out with my crew made it to the pool i'm gonna let them have my car done it's a nice time. little get me a couple <laughs> I was doing the same until I sipped it. I was like, oh, yeah, God. you were like, wait, tell them. I'm gonna I'll give me some. One. I'll take one. <laughs> I'm still not drinking, so iced tea and a salad it is for me. Oh, that's real cute or whatever. You sure you don't want a glass of wine? I would love a glass of wine, but my belly would not. 
So. Bro, please. Wine is grape juice. I like white wine. That's it's still well, a grape. Still grape juice. Yeah. You just turn water into and, wine. It's got to be fat free. And sweet. It's not it's sweet. No, it's not. Get you Sugar. No. no, sis. No. And I just need to stop drinking. Yeah, red wine is better. A nice berry and goat cheese salad with my 100 calorie Lipton iced tea, tropical tea, or whatever. Y'all say hi to Jamila. She's having her margarita. I know that's with salt. Y'all, are you doing like. All we do on layovers is eat. Well, they didn't eat. I guess it's just me. I'm a foodie. We just left the little hotel place. It was nice. So remember, um, I went to Hot and Juicy with Fawn in New York. And now I'm in LA and they have one here too. And I told y'all, I'm going to try all the different locations to see if they give me the right amount of quantity. So me and my crew are going to go to the one out here for dinner. Crawfish it shit up, baby. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 So I found hot and juicy. This ain't no joke. Every location, I'm gonna go. Does it? Yeah, on the back. Where? Oh, 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 the other menu didn't have that. How do you eat crawfish with your hands twist? Suck the head, peel, pinch, and enjoy. I kind of do it differently. I twist, peel, pinch, suck the head, and then enjoy. But hi, um, <laughs> that's, that's cool too. How do you eat crawfish, Camara? I waste that whole crawfish. So I, I break it in half, and like I, and then I like I get the body, what's in the tail, because it's yeah. the green stuff in the head. And that's, Of the crew. Jamila decided to renege on us tonight, but that's okay. We all get a little tired. Why didn't she? I don't know. I guess she was just tired. She had that margarita had that earlier. earlier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right before we got back to the hotel, we had uh, in and out too. So. I'm glad you're calling because I was I would have slept through the whole thing. <laughs> so, anyways, this is Jose's first time at a crawfish spot. But he got chicken wings got and chicken french wings. ones. <laughs> Maybe I'll let him try one of mine. We'll see if he likes it. Okay, so do <laughs> So their pound of crawfish looks like the other paste's pound of crawfish. Ooh, and these are way smaller. That's okay. Those didn't come eat. from Alaska. <laughs> no, they're not. So this time, y'all, I ordered. What did I get? The Dungeness crab leg. Look how big that thing is. I ordered a pound and I only got two of them. But I'm not going to complain. That's all I need. Mom, <laughs> I'm trying to peer pressure it. Jose into eating one little crawfish. I saved him one. And he won't even eat it. I'll eat it. Yes, yeah, she'll eat it. <laughs> okay, come here. Dig in on it. Dig in. When you're done. <laughs> So we're out here at night. It's like, it's 10 56 PM. We're in some fancy neighborhood trying to find, oh, there's some light. Trying to find the Hollywood sign for Jose. He's never been to LA and he wanted to come see it. So did we see it? There's like a smidget of it. It say H-O-U from here, H-Town. <laughs> <laughs> so, we found the sign. Yeah, I'm gonna that tree. 
is Climb definitely in the way. Let me zoom in for y'all. Yeah. Boom. We should have came during the daytime. But you know what? I don't mind nighttime adventures. So that was fun. I didn't work out today. Don't tell nobody. So this is a little mini walk. It's pretty good. Yeah. So it's time to go to bed now. <laughs> time to go to bed. Good morning. It is like 6.20 a.m. And I'm heading to the gym to get a little workout in. Then our shuttle is lobby. Our shuttle is at 9.57, basically 10 a.m. We have an 11.40 report to the airport, and we're really not that far, so I'm not sure why the shuttle's so early, but whatever. The most annoying time in the world. So stupid. And of course, there's only two treadmills. So I'm like, and I hate the elliptical. It's a silly machine. So I guess I'll just do some other stuff until she's done. So we are back to LAX, y'all. It's a little 21 hour layover. Um, and then we're gonna head to Boston. We'll get there, I think. We'll get there like 8 p.m. tonight, so. Let's go, let's go. So sometimes on flights, we get really nice customers, not other people that are crew, just really nice customers that appreciate the work that we do. Look what somebody came on board and gave me. These famous old time candy. So I don't know if y'all ever had this candy, but it's yummy. And she gave it to me and she was just like, this is for you and your crew. I know that y'all work very hard and are underappreciated sometimes, so we just want to get y'all a little token of our appreciation, and we know we're going to receive the best service, so this is for y'all. And I was like, oh my god, it's so sweet. So I'm going to try not to eat it. <laughs> just got to Boston Logan International Airport, whatever it's called, and it's busy here. It's popping. My red lips are popping, though. This color is everything. Yes. Um, anyways. Headed to the hotel, gonna eat some food. Um, Coachella Live, Beyonce comes on like at 1 a.m. So I have to go, <laughs> Beyonce hater. I have to go eat and take a little mini nap and then I'm gonna have a party in my room by myself, obviously. <laughs> I'm so excited. OMG y'all, so I've never stayed at this hotel. Um, where am I? Boston. The hotel I usually stay at for the layovers that I usually get, I don't like that hotel. But this one, let me just do the restroom first. It's nice and there's me. Nice walk in the shower. Nice and clear. And this light is so plentiful. I can probably do a nice get ready with me. Ooh, yes, look at that glow. Ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> and then it has a full kitchen in here. This is amazing. Nice stainless steel refrigerator. Putting me back into my real estate mode here. Microwave, which I need. Full size dishwasher. Oh, a deep sink. Two cooktop stove. Silverware, plates, coffee maker, all kind of utensils. Like, this is it. Okay, you got your sofa. And then, end the night with my king bed. Just missing my king. Ah, <laughs> so corny. Anyways, um... I'm about to warm up my food in the microwave provided in the room, which is always exciting. Just, y'all don't even know how exciting that really is. Um, yeah, I have a vid that I need to edit. A vid it. I have a video that I need to edit. Um, and go ahead and try to get it up for tomorrow. And then Beyonce it out. Eh, eh. All right, y'all. So I just thought about this. If I could find a studio apartment like this in New York, 
I would be happy. I would be a happy girl. I would probably possibly even live there like permanently for a little while. But hey, but what's going to happen now is that when I'm picking up trips and bidding for trips and things, I'm going to have to make sure that I bid for trips with this specific hotel as a layover because I really like it. Even the floors are wood. Like, look at that. Yes, wood floors. Yes, 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 yes. The only downfall about this room is that the TV is not a smart TV. And I can't log into my YouTube and watch Beyonce. But other than that, have y'all been watching this show? This is Station 19 on ABC, Shonda Rhimes' new show, spinoff of Grey's Anatomy. I've been watching it. I like it. Let me know if y'all like it. Good morning. I just woke up and I feel like the biggest failure of life. I was so hyped about Beyonce last night performing at Coachella and I was going to do this and then I was going to do that and I was going to stay awake and I was going to get my entire life. Nope. I fell asleep. I fell asleep. Oh my God. Ah! I cannot believe I did that. But I was so tired, y'all. I think I went to bed like 1045. And the concert didn't come on until like, what, 1 a.m. Boston time? Like, who's going to stay awake for that? Obviously, a lot of people, just not me. Ugh. And now I'm like scrolling through social media and everybody is talking about how Beyonce just killed the internet again in Coachella and her performance. <sighs> That's okay, though. I know I'm going to be able to just see videos on the social media, <laughs> the social media. And she performs again next weekend, so hopefully it'll be live again next weekend. <sighs> and I'm going to the On The Run Tour 2 concert two times this summer, so I, I, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. And I slept through my gym time this morning. I was supposed to get up at 7 to go to the gym. It's like 8.30 now. We got a 10.07 shuttle report to the airport, so it's okay. I'll just get my workout on in, in San Francisco. So, anyways, let me get up and get to San Francisco. See y'all when I get there. All right, I'm ready. I, um, I found a website that had the full Beyonce performance concert show, Coachella, Baychella, Beachella. I watched the first hour, so. <sighs> Kind of got me running a little late. It was so good. So, so good. I didn't even get breakfast. All right, y'all. Just got to San Fran, Cisco. About to do a quick little outfit change. Me and two of the crew are going to head to my newfound favorite Thai food restaurant. Um, they have this crab fried rice there that is bomb diggity. Um, but honestly, y'all, I'm tired. Like, <laughs> I'm so tired. I haven't been home in over a month since I've started flying. That is the longest amount of time that I've stayed gone from home. Home is in Houston, Texas. The last time I was home was when I did that commuting video about how I couldn't get back to work. That was forever ago, right, y'all? So this trip, I really wanted to drop it, but I really need to make a coin because I have a lot of plans for the summer. But, oh, this four-day trip is four days too long. Whew. So, today's day three. Have one more leg back to JFK tomorrow in the evening. And then we don't get back till late. So, I'll probably, as early in the morning, I'll be heading early, Tuesday, early Tuesday morning. I'll head back home to Houston. I'll be there for a week. I can't wait to get there. I miss my dogs and my mom. And the rest of the family but i miss denver and aspen a lot so anyways i told them they had 15 minutes to do a wardrobe change so i need to stop yapping my jaws and get going <laughs> look how pretty that is with the little flower am i supposed to eat that too i know it, yeah it looks like a hibiscus flower say hi to me like 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 say hi that's a um i hope this sauce ain't spicy because they're gonna have to take it back That's not too bad. 
the sriracha with some type of cream sauce. It's good though. Okay. Let me tell y'all what Camara just told me. That she had a tattoo. <laughs> a Tinkerbell on her thigh with a bottle of Moet and a bag of money. Why do you have that come here? I can explain, okay? Oh, what? Okay, go. For starters, I was 20 years old. But you know, back then I was getting money, popping bottles or whatever. <laughs> and Tinkerbell, the Tinkerbell part, it's because she's just so popular. She's a fairy. You know, she's a ride or die. She saved Peter Pan. She's a community advocate if you ever watched the Tinkerbell movie. And she's just so damn cute. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I was Tinkerbell. That's why she's gonna wear opaque shocking from this time. What I came up. here for. Crab fried rice. And they follow. Yeah. Yes. Well, good morning. I guess it's a little early for the gym too, because all the lights are off in here. Found some switches. It is 4:18 a.m. West Coast time. And I'm up. So I don't want to touch nothing though. <laughs> Guess I'll just well, over here by the treadmill. There's a little light, but I'm gonna need some light for the weights. But anyways, good morning, y'all. Today is the last day of this too long four day. <sighs> Back to JFK a little later on today. Our report time is like 11:33 or something like that. We get to JFK tonight, and then tomorrow morning I'm off to Houston. Can't wait, but let me get this run in real quick. Alrighty guys, so it's been a very interesting morning. We had some delays, and then we didn't have a delay. So, at first, our little scheduling thing said the flight was delayed two hours, car crew services, and it wasn't delayed, and it's delayed, they didn't know, so they wouldn't push back our report time. Now it's our report time, flight is no longer delayed, so. Some of the crew is running a tad bit late, but I'm happy it's not delayed for once because I'm off tomorrow for quite a bit of time and I just want to get in tonight, hop on my flight to Houston in the morning and be done. The end of a too long four day. Yeah, so let's go. Four day trip that was four days too long is finally over. Oh geez, this last day was testing of my patience to say the least but we're here oh and then the wheelchair we had a straight back and this personal chair took like an extra 20 minutes to come so we can't leave the aircraft with any customers on board even on the jet bridge so Whew. but it's over with y'all i missed the shuttle by five minutes <laughs> so i'm gonna go chill until the next shuttle yeah, anyways, thank y'all for watching this four day too long vlog. <laughs> Until next time, make sure that you subscribe, like, and share. Bye!